What's up, gang? It's your girl, Beyond Cute, and I am back with another video. Y'all, I know it's been a minute since I uploaded a tutorial video, and honestly, the reason why I haven't is because, um, I had to order me a better computer, y'all. I don't know if y'all was noticing, but my Sims content was very, very glitchy, and I figured it was probably the computer I had. So now I have a better computer that's way up to par for my gameplays now, so now I can basically do dudes all around for you all like basically i can do more gameplays i can do more tutorials i can do gta content and all that without it being so glitchy so with that being said i am back with another video and honestly i have been getting a lot of questions about this before i stop um actually recording content but everybody has been, has been asking me how do i record my gameplay for the sims 4 I don't know if you all ever heard of this software, but it's free. It's easy to download. And at first, when I first downloaded, I thought it was going to be very hard to use. But honestly, it's not hard at all. I'm actually using this software now to record this content I'm doing now. But the name of that software is OBS Studio. As you all can see right here on my desktop, at the top left, I already have it downloaded. I have a shortcut, so I'm going to show you all how to download this and go ahead and get it started. Before we get into this video, make sure you all like, comment, and subscribe, and turn that post notification bell for uploads about to come back to back. Your girl's back on the road, and yeah, I don't plan on slowing down no time soon again. You know, that's really what was holding me back the whole computer issue. So, it's about to be more uploads now on my channel. Um, we're on the road to 500. Thank you all for supporting me. If you haven't already, make sure you go follow me on my TikTok. I do post most of my content on there. So, make sure you all go do that. And also, if you want to check me out on any other socials, just make sure you hit the link down in the description. So, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get into this video. Okay, so first thing you want to do before even using OBS or before you even get access, you have to download it, of course. So what you want to do is go on your browser, your primary browser, and you want to type in OBS Studio. So when you get here, you're going to go here where it says download OBS, and when you click that, it's going to take you over to this screen here. Now, depending on what type of computer you have, whether it's Windows, Mac, or Linux, these will tell you which one you'll have to download. So, of course, I have Windows computer. So, what you want to do, click Windows if you have Windows, and it's going to open here at the top. It's going to download here at the top. So, once it finished, you're going to hit open. Now, I already have OBS on my computer, so it's pretty much going to probably already say I have it. But what you want to do is once you click that step and you hit yes, you want to make the changes to your computer. What you want to do is just keep going through it till you hit install and you're going to hit confirm. Once that finished downloading, then you should have, basically it's already running. So yeah, this is the step where it's going to take you through to finish the installment. So once you have that installed, so once you have that installed, this is when the shortcut becomes available on your desktop. So, of course, this is what I have open already. So what I'm going to do is open it. Now, when you open yours, your screen may be black. Mine just showing because I'm casting my background screen, which is my window. So yours may look a little different from mine. So what you want to do, the first step is OBS has different settings. So what you want to do is go to your file, go to settings, which you may not have to do this part because it may pop up first when you first download it. But you just want to make sure your set your settings look just like mine. Now it just depends on what type of computer you have, like your output. I made this mistake, so I don't want y'all to make this mistake. When you're recording your videos, make sure your format is MP4. Make sure it's not, I think it's M, MKV, make sure it's not that one. You want to make sure it's MP4, and the reason why I said it is because you want to include music 
and if you want to able if you want to be able to send a video to your phone mp4 is the only format you'll be able to save it if you have an so that's just why that's why i say use mp4 is better and then as far as my audio um let's see i have my microphone so this is what i have here it's already connected as uh, far as my video quality, you want to make sure it's one one nine two zero by ten eighty. You want to make sure it's like that for your base resolution and your output resolution. Other than that, um, I think that's it. You just want to make sure all your settings look like mine. It's not going to show me what yours basically show because I already have it on my computer. But I want to say when I did first download it, I didn't change a lot about OBS when I first opened it. I just made sure that I had my format saved as MP4 because the the quality, the resolution was already there. And then your microphone, of course, if you have it connected, it's gonna pick up your microphone out of Mac. You just have to hit the drop down box to click microphone. So this is how you work OBS as far as that part. So now what you want to do is you have this button here. You yours may be blank, but you have your sources. So what you want to do is, um, the first one that I ever downloaded was Display Capture. So Display Capture is how I'm displaying my screen to you all, showing my desktop and all that is in my background. That's my Display Capture. Now, in order to do your game, you hit the plus sign and you hit um, Game Capture. Now with Game Capture, I already have mine set. You can make a new one. Once you hit the new one, it's going to say create new. You don't have to create a new one if you already have it created. So I have my Sims 4. So with the Sims 4, basically it only picks up the game if it's running. So that's already done. So automatically, as soon as Sims 4 runs, it's going to automatically start playing the game with the OBS. So that's how I'll be able to record my my gaming stream. Basically when I get to the Sims 4 loading. Now another thing is um, the system sound. I put that name in myself, but I want to say that that was the audio input capture. So the audio input capture is my microphone because that's how it's getting input into the computer through my microphone. Now um, this is where my actual microphone is connected. So as you can see, the bar down here, um, you can you can make it lower, you can make it higher, just whichever. You know, you want to do a sound check before you even start recording. But this is my sources. I don't honestly think I'll need another one now. If you do plan on like um, doing um, game streams from like Twitch or anything, it's the same way with display capture. You can. I mean, I'm not display capture, I'm sorry. Game capture. It's the same way. You just record. Um, you can hook your Twitch up automatically through OBS. Um, not sure how. I think you go here. Yes. So this is how you go to connect your Twitch account. So you'll connect your account, which is recommended. And then once you get it connected, it'll basically show you how to function. I'm going to later basically connect my Twitch. Well, as of right now. I'm not going to connect my Twitch because I just really want to use it for my um, Sims 4 gameplay when I start doing my um, Let's Play series. That's what I'm going to use this for. So, if you already haven't got OBS on your computer, I definitely recommend it. It's a great software and it's free. So, if you don't have it, don't be like me. Don't get it and make it, you know, it may seem a little complex because really it's not. It's very simple. Very easy. Only use for whatever you want to use it for. Whether it's streaming or like I'm doing now, just talking to you all, but I definitely recommend it. Like, so like I said, if you haven't got it, make sure you go download it, play around with it, look at some YouTube videos, and if y'all have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe, turn that post notification bell because more videos are on the way. And I want to say I'm going to have another video uploaded today, so y'all stay tuned for that. Maybe some good jewels y'all want to know about the Sims 4. But other than that, that's the end of the video, y'all.